Right, so the arming of Israel by the UK is a source of national shame for so many of us now. I'm sure we can all agree on this. Sickened by the weakness shown by the unelected Sunak and what passes for a cabinet these days. Reduced to a Z-list team of chancers, desperate to make for a footnote in the history books before their sorry backsides are voted out of Parliament come the general election. An election widely polling and indicating some kind of a Labour majority to some degree or other. But is that going to change anything? An interview this morning with Starmer super loyalist Pat McFadden, also a Labour friend of Israel, on Sky News with Kay Burley, displayed possibly one of the most unhinged, ignorant, sickening and deplorable takes I've yet seen on the matter of Israel from any politician, let alone Labour, as McFadden pretty much says beyond doubt the Labour will very much be continuing to arm Israel, and you genuinely need to see and hear this before you consider casting a vote for this god-awful apparent government that's in waiting. Is Labour comfortable selling arms to Israel? Well, look, uh, we all, always want Israel or any ally to abide by international humanitarian law. We've said that all the way through uh, this conflict, um, and you know that's what guides our policy. Um, so is that a yes or a no? I'm not sure. Well, we don't have a boycott of selling uh, so arms you have to, to Israel. Even um, given what's happening in Gaza at the moment? Look, there are three things which have guided our policy uh, since this, this phase of this uh, began six months ago. One is the return of the hostages, some of whom uh, are still being held. Yeah. The second is a sustainable stop to this conflict, not just a pause where it starts up again in a few months. But you're not answering my question. Third, what is your question? My question is, is Labour comfortable selling arms to Israel at the moment? Would you well, be? If, if we, are, we are selling arms to allies and who are abided by international humanitarian law, um, then that's something that... So you, know, you do think do. that Israel's uh, abiding by international law? Well, if there's proper legal evidence uh, that they aren't, the government should come out and say so. We've said this all the way through. Right, so that was Pat McFadden, the Shadow Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, talking to Kay Burley there. And that was absolutely disgusting. Did he think he was funny or something, grinning inanely halfway through, having talked so much bollocks for half a minute he forgot what he was asked? We know Hamas hold hostages. Israel hold many times more. He couldn't bring himself to actually say the word ceasefire, you'll note, because presumably it's not allowed in Starmer's world. He hasn't cleared it with the Starmeroids upstairs yet. Does Labour really want that or not? Or is it so in hoc to the Israel lobby now, we can't tell? And McFadden being LFI is hardly going to rock that boat himself. We don't boycott Israel. Well, many of us are when we go and do our shopping, don't we? And what do the politicians have to say about that? Ooh, you can't do that. We don't like that. We'll ban you from doing that. Well, how do you plan on doing that then? Forcibly making us buy Israeli pod produce. Those dates grown by settlers in the West Bank on land they stole. Buy them or you're going to prison or getting a fine. Is that it? Let me so wet. You cannot enforce what people do and do not choose to buy. We should all be boycotting Israel. BDS, boycott, divestment, sanctions. It's how we dealt with apartheid South Africa. And it's how you deal with apartheid Israel. 32,000 people are dead, have died in Gaza since the 7th of October. Over 100,000 dead or injured, and here's McFadden defending Israel as an ally, as a nation we don't boycott, and implying they are still operating within international humanitarian law at that. All in response to a question, a fairly straightforward question, of being asked, is Labour comfortable with selling arms to Israel? Well, presumably the real answer to that is, for as long as the Israel lobby fund us, donate to our party and affiliated Labour MPs and keep paying for our jollies to Israel, of course, as we keep sending parliamentary candidates to Israel to make sure they know who's really in charge. The answer is going to be yes. More and more, the Labour Party appears to take instruction, not so much from Starmer, but from Tel Aviv. Is it a wonder people are referring to Starmer more and more these days as Tel Aviv Keith, is it? The only honest thing, remotely honest thing, McFadden said there, was that if the government have proof that Israel have breached international law, then they should publish it. And of course, right now, as I covered in another video the other day, that would almost certainly require David Cameron's resignation now, since if the leaked audio clip of Tory MP and 
chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee, Alicia Cairns, is legit, and I see no reason to believe that it's not, then the Tories have had such legal advice since at least the 13th of March and have sat on it. There seems to be no desire for Cameron to want to release that as he should have done earlier, and certainly not now, and that gives Labour cover to keep saying Israel is our ally. Oh, we're on opposition. They don't tell us these things. It's all their fault. Israel are a global pariah now, and an absolute danger right now to seemingly the entire Middle East, since their genocide in Gaza has expanded to hitting Lebanon and Syria, and now an unprecedented strike on a foreign embassy, an attack on Iran, as that amounts to. They can't stop making more enemies, requiring more weaponry, puts more pressure on Western countries loyal and allied to Israel to get involved at some point, which is precisely what the Netanyahu regime wants, which this country, be it the Tories or Labour, will keep on supplying, keep on supplying weapons, keep on supplying aid. And McFadden all but admits it, all with a smirk on his face. How can anyone smile right now when talking about what Israel are doing? How can you completely completely ignore six months of genocide and everything that that has exposed and pretend like they're still within humanitarian law. You have to have had a frontal lobotomy to believe that by now. We know they aren't. The ICJ has ruled as much on a plausible basis as far as the law goes, but we all know what we've seen on our phones on social media and this grinning idiot hides behind convention and legal standpoints despite what we are all witnessing with our own eyes. And look at how open they are about discussing it too. This is a party so sure it's going to be elected to government that it doesn't care how brazenly offensive on this topic it is now. You're going to vote for them to get the Tories out. And as I've said in multiple videos now about nothing changing if Starmer becomes PM, nothing nails that point more than a blind eye being turned to genocide and a desire to bring more of the world into this conflict as the narrative McFadden cobbled together there seems to sum up. Again, I'll say it, if this was Russia, they'd be demanding maximum sanctions by now, but it's Israel, so they need to be allowed to carry on what they're doing. I don't want to be represented by the unelected political pygmy that is Rishi Sunak, embarrassing us on the world stage by saying stuff to Netanyahu like he hopes he wins, and supporting Israel all the way, and hiding apparent legal evidence that should mean we have to stop arming Israel with immediate effect. But neither do I want to be represented by a brill-creamed bought and paid for, sponsored by Israel, drone like Starmer, and all of his LFI cabinet and party, seemingly set on running this country in that nation's interests, and not in the interests of the people of this country. As more and more of us get more and more angry at what we're observing, it seems, and this seems to be more and more the case that this is the direction Labour's going to go in. As badly in hock to Israel and the Netanyahu regime as the Tories are, I genuinely do think Labour is going to be so much worse on that front. A vote for the Tories or Labour right now, in the current climate, is a vote to turn a blind eye to what Israel is doing. And I won't be doing that. Will you? Well, I know a large number of Labour members who won't, nor indeed will a large number of representatives even, or former representatives as the case may be, not least of which in the North West there's no fewer than 20 councillors, Labour councillors in the Pendle area just resigned en masse over this matter of Gaza and no small part, as this video recommendation will tell you all about. All on the eve of local elections happening there too, just a month away. And I'll hopefully catch you on the next vid. Cheers folks.